اهلا وسهلا يا رمضان شهر التوبة والغفران مرحبا بك رمضان رمضان شهر الذكر والإحسان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء نبينا وشفيعنا وحبيبنا وسيدنا المصطفى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بإيداته إلى يوم الدين أما بعد قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون يا أيها الناس اعبدوا ربكم الذي خلقكم والذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون I want us to all together try and find an answer to a question concerning Ramadan when we sit down quietly reflect and observe we realize that before the month of Ramadan so many of us will be able to put aside some of our mistakes in life some of our shortcomings some of our sins and some of our bad habits we are able to put them aside and then we also realize that we get motivated to embark on so many good deeds in this noble man and we are able to give out all that we have we give it out to the needy we give it out to the poor relatives and then also to the poor people and then also to help in the cause of islam so we realize that spiritually we get elevated and we're able to do so many things things that were very difficult for us before ramadan they become a bit easier for us in the month of ramadan but then unfortunately after ramadan most of the bad deeds and negative inclinations within us we go back to them some of the good deeds that we were able to embark on them we went for tahajjud from 12 o'clock to 3 and then we also embarked on recitation of the quran did so many sadaqa but then unfortunately after ramadan then we realized that we are unable to do that one again what is the cause of this one and indeed if we don't want this Ramadan to be like that one, what should we do? Number one, the reason why the things that are bad that we leave them behind before the month of Ramadan and in the month of Ramadan, but then after the month of Ramadan, we are motivated to go back again to those bad habits is that we have certain misconception concerning Ramadan. Number two, we didn't have that intention of completely uprooting those bad habits and throwing them away. Number three, we had a very weak strategy and vision for Ramadan or we had no strategy and vision for Ramadan. So, so many of us have restricted and limited the purpose of fasting in the month of Ramadan to only the acquisition of a reward and earning of forgiveness in the month of Ramadan. That's the big misconception. The main purpose of the worship is that Ya Ayuha Nas, O Mankind, Urabudu Rabbakum, worship your Lord, who is your Lord, Alladhi Khalakakum, the one who created you, Walladhina Min Kablikum, and the one who created those before you. Why are you to worship Allah? Why do you come to the mosque to say the prayers, the salah, five times in a day? Why are we supposed to fast? Why do we give zakat? Allah is saying, "Abudu Rabbakum alladhi khalakakum la'allakum tattaqun so that you might get taqwa. Ramadan is coming. What are we looking for in the month of Ramadan? Allah says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. 
O you those who believe kutiba alaykum siyam the fasting has been prescribed unto you kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum just like the way it was prescribed kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum not before you not only you just like the way it was prescribed for those before you why did Allah azza wa jalla do that then he said la'allakum so that perhaps tattaqun you might get what taqwa but Allah azza wa jalla tells you that if you want to get taqwa there are three things that you need to get number one your belief system should look like the belief system of the people of taqwa those that Allah called the muttaqin in the Quran your general behavior and the way you interact with people you are inter an intrapersonal relationship to look like those people that Allah mentioned in the Quran that they have taqwa your character should look like those people Allah mentioned in the Quran that they have what taqwa so in about 286 places Allah azza wa jalla has mentioned the belief system of those who fear God almighty Allah their general behavior their habit the rituals they embark on daily Allah Azza wa Jal has mentioned their character let us read in about 286 places enumerate them and write them grade ourselves before the month of Ramadan in this particular belief in this particular virtue in this particular behavior in this particular habit and in this particular character how do I rate myself before the month of Ramadan and in this month of Ramadan how am I going to elevate myself in these particular things I am not going to embark on them and do them only in the month of Ramadan no but I am going to develop a character I am going to develop a habit in them so that even at the end of Ramadan I will continue every bad behavior before you will be able to kill that bad behavior before you will be able to uproot it and throw it away you need to get a good behavior to replace it in the hasanat you the hypnot say ye art indeed the quran says that good deeds they do away with the bad deed subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim wal asr inna al insana lafi usr illa alladhina amanu wa amilus salihat wa tawassaw bil haqq wa tawassaw bis sabr sadaqallahu al azim assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh alam wa sahlan ya ramadan sharus sadaqati wal ikram مرحبا بك رمضان رمضان